Smuggler and the Blind, episode 15. I've encountered a bug. So, these are my buffs. They're, they're not at an hour, they're approaching half an hour left. So I thought, ooh, let's replenish my buffs. Mm, no. No, let's try again. Mm, no, 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 not doing it. Okay, so... I wonder what would happen if I actually got rid of it. It'll probably appear now. There we go, yeah. It was a weird bug. Normally you could just click it, even if you have the buffs up, and it would still do it. Um, I also like the little whooshing uh, around Corso. I guess this is happening to all of my companions. Oh. Did it not happen? Oh, why did it not happen? I want to see the whooshing. Oh. Well, screw me then, right? There we go. Oh, I can't be too close then. I just like the wishing. It's 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 fun. Why isn't it doing it so? What? Well, oh, it's probably because I'm looking. Whatever. Anyway, now we need to head our way to head our way. Yes, head to not Coruscant. That's a companion story, which we'll do another time. Um, we need to go to Tatooine for bait, fish bait, which makes no sense because you know. There's barely any water on Tatooine that they have to rely on moisture farming. Go to the Zerka Mining Complex. There's that explosion that always happens. So what have we got to do at the Zerka Mining Complex? Rich's old friend, Ordilla, has been kidnapped by... <laughs> I love how he did flashpoints um, before we saved before we saved Ordilla. Um, she can wait. She can wait. Um, has been kidnapped by people who've been threatened to kill her unless Risha meets them alone on Tatooine. Sensing a trap, you agree to prepare a surprise attack while Risha surrenders to the kidnappers. Oh uh, yeah, because, because... Shut up. Because Corso was all like, Oh! It's not how you treat a lady! I had a thought as well. What if I was playing as a female smuggler? Would Corso be all like, No! You're a lady! You shouldn't be doing all this! Or will Corsa just be like, oh yeah, bye Captain, you have fun. Because I'm thinking, well that's just, that just makes no sense to the story. And then let's say I'm, you know, here I am as a female smuggler. And then Corsa's now like, oh, you shouldn't be putting Reese in danger, she's just a lady. Excuse me? But I would be a lady. It's a game, FFS. Yes, it's a game, but I'm very passionate about it, so don't judge me. Wow, okay, so people do still do the conquests then, because I thought, you know, after a while it gets so boring to do, but I guess people still do it. I guess it's like operations. People are still technically going the wrong way. People are still technically doing operations. Not as much as back in the day, because people have left because there are no new operations, but I guess people still do them. I promise nothing less than perfection, Master. Well, I'm expecting that. And if you come back and you don't give me anything good, you're gonna get a whooping. Okay, this isn't good. Gotta make my way through here without the, uh, what are they called? Geonosian seeing me. Uh oh. I'm here! Should I get Corso out and then have him wildly judge me? Yeah, let's have him wildly judge me, shall we? I've got stuff I need to sell as well. i got so much stuff for examination and suggested products. in here to get rid of that I just don't need... Oh, actually, that was for level when I was level 35. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Okay, that would have been crap anyway. I need to repair all, and then I need to get rid of that and that. Uh, and you that's it. Duty. Return to your post. <laughs> duty. Hi, sand people. How you doing? I'm just gonna do this because it kill it's a, it's a lot easier to kill you. Ooh, bonus mission as well. Well, that's just dandy. A bone collector. Are you currently making a movie with Angelina Jolie? Give me my experience, please. Give me my experience. Thank you. Oh no. You have become one. I gotta say, oh, I've still got a little while to go, so I've still got quite a few sand people I need to kill along the way. Ah. <sighs> Wouldn't need to do this if I was a uh, stealth. Oh, hello. You're the simple girl who caused His Majesty so many sleepless nights. There's nothing simple about me. And I'll see to it your torture and execution are as complex as possible. Risha, what are you doing here? Let her go, and you can do whatever you want with me. Unfortunately for your Togruda friend, I'm to leave no witnesses. Besides, 
This planet offers precious little else in the way of entertainment. You really need to find a full-time job. <laughs> you were instructed to come alone, Risha. I don't know how this fool slipped past our perimeter, but he won't save you. This fool is the best shot in the galaxy. How good are you? I swore to my liege you would die here, and I keep my oaths. Cool. Sorry, pal. You made a promise you can't keep. Feel free to start shooting, Captain. Okay. Kill them! Adila, get down! Isn't there a hut named Odila? If I remember rightly, Odila the Hut. I'm probably wrong about that. I love how I'm going into this fight not with a full uh, health. With a full health? Yeah, yeah, I know what's going. I know what I'm going to say. There we go. Cool. Um, now, if you just excuse me, I'm going to wait 43 seconds for those two to come back so it doesn't interrupt the cutscene. Odila. That man kidnapped me because of you, Risha. He was going to kill us both. Why? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry for what happened, but it's over. You're sorry? He held me prisoner for days, threatened to kill me, and you're sorry? Adila, when I heard the shooting, I thought... Weren't you supposed to stay outside? I had to know if she was all right. I'm all right, Juren. But I never want to see Risha again. We're done. Whoa! I just risked my life for you. She wouldn't keep a secret without good reason, Adila. I promise I'll explain everything to you someday. Have I ever let you down? There's always a first time, right? Thanks for the support. I need to get off this stinking planet. Get a bit of distance, think. Here, take these credits. They'll get you off Tatooine. Help you start over someplace better. I'll want that explanation someday, Risha. I'll let you know where to find us. I hope so. Love how what I said was a dark side. Scum, Captain. The galaxy is a better place without them. I have a lot of unanswered questions. Don't we all? They'll have to wait for another time. We're done here. See you back at the ship. Yeah, I find it funny how just me saying there's always a first time, just the snarky comment is a dark side. Okay, Risha, what's next? We only have one delivery left to make, Captain. Set course for Narshada. Weren't we already on Narshada? I thought we'd finished our business on Narshada. Yeah! I needed time to set up this deal. I'll explain when we get there. Okay. Oh, I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Not enough experience to get to level 35. But hopefully we should do once we've done this Narshada job. The fro... The frozen demon. Okay. And we're on our way to Narshada. And we got to wait for Risha to speak to us. What if I just stay in this room? Will she be able to speak to us if I stay in this room? Maybe that's what doesn't trigger it. I'm in this room. Yeah, maybe that's it. And because if I'm anywhere else, then it does trigger it. Ah. Oops, we're past, we're past the room, Risha. Sorry. Have to give credit where it's due, Captain. You've done an amazing job delivering this cargo. I always knew you would. Really? I can do lots of amazing things for you. If you'll let me. You're also not easily discouraged. No one has ever come as close to finding Noctrain's riches as we are now. How will you spend all that reward when you finally get it? What will you do with your share? Ask me again when I have it. Your last job is taking the men and the Carbonite to these coordinates. It's a restricted area. Only us and the buyer will be there. That's right. I'll help you negotiate this deal personally, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll do most of the talking. <laughs> you know me so well. Who are we going to be dealing with? I'd tell you if I could, but this particular buyer prefers to remain anonymous. I'll run ahead and make sure everything's in place. Meet me there with our friend in the Carbonite. Use this access card to enter the restricted area. I'll see you at the delivery point. Ah, uh, so I've got to drag him. Ugh. It better not be anybody important. Like, I know. Blow my mind. Oh, he's gone. Like, blow my mind important. Yeah. I say blow my mind. Not not, not really. It's not exactly going to blow my mind if I already know who the man in the carbonite is. But do you know? Oh. Ah, so i got to go to the industrial sector. Oh, I can't even. I was going to say, I'll quick travel from here. No, you can't, Charlie, you idiot. The industrial sector, industrial sector, industrial sector. Schecter? Yeah, Schecter. Totally, Schecter. Uh... Where, where is the industrial sector? 
Oh. Okay, well, let me find out where it is uh, by the taxi terminal, which is this side for some reason, um, and then I'll quick travel there. Please select an available travel route. So it's there. Have a safe and pleasant stay. I'll try. Yeah, you get him, men. Just trying to find a cool name to call you, but I couldn't think of it because I'm not that smart. In fact, have you ever been around a smart person? You know, you're just there talking, and this other person is saying all of these very smart facts about something. And you're just there like, um, no, I, I, I totally didn't know that. No, I, I didn't know that either. And they'll just be all like, okay, well, what do you know? Um, I know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That's it. It's like you're not feeling smarter by them being there. You just feel dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber. Just me? Alright. Dr. Chala! Hey, Chala, Chala. I know it's Sarah, but it sounds fun. This is a big moment, Captain. Bigger than you probably realize. I've waited ten years for it. Really? I'm pretty sure you probably could have just got him uncarbonated at any point. Is the fish head our buyer? Not exactly. He's here to oversee the delivery. Ready to have your mind Dr. blown, Chela, people? Let's introduce the captain to the man in carbonite. Begin the procedure. Initiating carbon thawing and resuscitation. You may wish to shield your eyes. Vital signs are normal. He is regaining consciousness. It's Nocturian! How long has it been? Ten years. Ten years. I'm sorry it took so long, but I finally have everything you told me to find. Come closer, Risha. Let me see you. I'm different now. Not that little girl constantly underfoot. Now you are my heir, my legacy. Captain, meet my father, Nakdrayan. I believe I've mentioned him once or twice. Dun dun dun! Nakdrayan? I heard you were dead. I was dead. Now I'm not. Sorry I wasn't completely honest, Captain. I promised father when he entered Dr. Chela's hibernation treatment I'd never tell anyone the truth. You're a good liar. I'll give you that. Trust is a vice for the weak. I learned that the hard way. Ten years ago, one of my lieutenants deliberately infected me with a disease. It's deadly, incurable, and eating me alive. What happened to your henchmen? Dead, of course. I killed all my men. Just to be sure I avenged myself on every traitor. Classic. I've done everything to stop this disease, but it's never been enough. Soon, the illness will consume my vital organs. Rumor is Jedi can heal anything. The Jedi proved uncooperative. I killed three trying to learn their secrets. Ah. But that is not our present concern. I lied about my father, Captain. But not his lost fortune. That's real. And thanks to all those starship upgrades, it's yours. You have the only starship in the galaxy equipped to travel where the fortune was lost. No one else can reach it. There is a region of space beyond the Outer Rim, called the Long Shadow. There are no stars, no light, no life. Just a derelict starship drifting into a massive black hole. My fortune waits for you there. But if you've been in Carbonite for ten years, how do you know it's all already not gone into the massive black hole? Completely sure now? The starship in question has belonged to my family for a very long time. I will give you the coordinates to the derelict vessel. You'll fly into the long shadow and board it. Retrieve the vessel's reliquary and bring it here. Risha will take a single item. The rest is yours. Yeah, but it's not gonna be as simple as that, is it? I don't even know what reliquary means. Think of it as a treasure chest filled with the sort of wealth that never goes out of style. My daughter will stay here. I have things to tell her, and my time grows short. 
Be careful out there. I've gotten used to seeing you. Oh, Risha. You ready for the ride of your life, farm boy? Can't believe we're doing this. The derelict vessel is at these coordinates. Go now. Travel to the Long Shadow. Which we'll do in the next episode because I think we should go to uh, Coruscant just to do <clears throat> my throat. Just to do Corso's class story. So let's do that now. Oh wait, wait, wait. I was gonna I was gonna I was gonna go to my stronghold and do it, but I first need to go to my ship, travel to Coruscant, then go to my stronghold on Coruscant, then exit to Coruscant. Made sense? Yeah, I knew it. See, because at least with these sort of missions, it says use your ship to travel to Coruscant. Use your ship. Some other missions don't have that, and you think, okay, well, I can just travel to whatever planet I want, however I want. Nope, you still gotta use your ship. And yet, I still exited to. Oh, uh, frickin' 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 frickin', frickin', frickin'. I'm saying frogger, not the other word. So does this mean that Risha is currently unavailable? Yeah, she is. She's no longer there. Okay. Um. Right. Let's go and head our way to Coruscant. Wait. We're already at Coruscant. Ah, oh, I hate it when you gotta go away and then come back again. Let's go to Rishi, shall we? Let's go to Rishi and then we'll come back. Actually, no, we can do it immediately now. Ha 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 ha. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Before it quick travels me. There we go. A mule out of water. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell happened there? Rishi literally turned into Coruscant. That was weird. Right ho, so where am I going? I'm going. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, well, I guess I'll go to the taxi terminal and then quick travel. Because I hate planets like this that don't tell me where you're going on the map. And the reason why I'm not using the taxi terminal is because it is quicker just to quick travel. Like, minutes quicker. Oh, so we are literally right outside where we need to go anyway. Ah, oh, don't you love it when things work out the way you planned? Yes, I totally planned it. I totally totally did. Oh yeah, it's in a cantina as well anyway, isn't it? Cool. Uh, Dr. Hope. Not Dr. Who. Dr. Hope. Where are you, Dr. Hope? There you are, Dr. Hope. Ah, uh, Captain. And course... Wait, hold on. You're a little uncomfortably close. But hey. Ah, uh, Captain. Oh. And again. Ah, uh, Captain. Ah, uh, Captain. Corso Riggs. It's good to meet such generous souls in a place like this. I'm Dr. Hope. I like to think of myself as a messenger of mercy, caring for the poor, forsaken citizens of the underlevels. We don't need the pitch, just tell us what you know about Rona. I'd be happy to, but as a doctor, I must put the needs of my patients first. You're totally, uh, Nolan North. Is that your real name? The citizens of Lower Coruscant call me that for the ray of hope I bring to their cramped and miserable lives. I'm sure. Right, so I've got some uh, life-saving medications that need delivering. Unfortunately, Coruscant security only cares about the rich. They don't let anyone distribute uh, medications in the underlevels at all. Those folks deserve a fair shake. We're not the blasted empire. Good man. I knew you had the spark of compassion in you. The only way to get my meds down without getting stopped is to carry them inside a living body. Oh. What? They'll be safely stored in surgical plastic and implanted under the skin. My, uh, nurse can remove them on the other end. Captain I used to serve with, he once swallowed a whole shipment of grenades to keep them under wraps. This isn't half bad. What? <laughs> I wish I had a hundred just like you, Captain. This was always Rona's kind of thing, breaking the law to do good under the nose of a corrupt authority. It's worth it if I get to see her. I'll just need you to come with me a moment, Master Riggs. Master Riggs. Ooh. Perfect. These vials should stay sealed for at least 12 hours, no problem. I'll tell my contact, uh, nurse, to expect you. When we get back, Rona better be waiting. Right, speak to Nurse Big Chan. Oh my god. Okay, uh, now where have I got to go? Uh, did they say the Nikto Sector? Uh, 
No, Black Sun. Okay, where's Black Sun? Black Sun is... There! Well, this time, it's not literally just around the corner. Fun times. So, I can tell you another reason why I am doing the Smuggler playthrough is because, of course, I've never actually completed the Smuggler playthrough. So, not only will I finally get to complete it after five years, but I'll also get the Legendary status. I know! I was a bit weirded out by those. Because I've been playing a lot of Bioshock, and they look like the little tubes which the little sisters go in. Okay. Ha! Huh. There's a line to get in! Ha! 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 Not for me. Hey, Big Jan. You bring goods? I did bring Doctor goods. Doctor, say, two people, look out. That be us. Now time, cut out spice. Did she say spice? She, 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 uh-oh. What happened to, oh, I'll do anything for Rona. She couldn't possibly be involved in anything bad. This has nothing to do with Rona. They lied. You used us. If you weren't a lady, you'd... I gotta go have a word with your boss. I not speak basic. You say, take spice away? Good spice. I give good money. Big, uh, how you say, cut? We're not asking for a bigger cut, you idiot. Wow! Be kind to the Lady Corso! No one's going to profit off this. No! It's good money! Good, good money! <laughs> Doctor, no be happy with this! Good. We're not too happy with him. Come on, Captain. Confront Doctor Hope. Oh, it's heating up now. Which one do I need to go into? I need to go into Katina anyway, so I might as well just quick travel to Katina. This is what happens when you try to speak too fast. I might as well just quick travel to the Katina and I'll be right in front of him. <laughs> Could you imagine? I just appear in front of him. Surprise! Even the Cantina's here, big. Dharma says this is the best watering hole on the planet. Somebody poisoned the water hole! It just reminded me of that for some reason. Uh, did the delivery go well? Yes, yeah, swimmingly. You did your dirty work, you fraud. Now where's my cousin? You keep us waiting? I've got a few things to implant in you. Whoa, whoa, back off there, soldier. You're looking for Rona Riggs, right? Well, she's the one who thought you two would be right for the job. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Just like the old days, eh, cuz? Of course, I'm a little more big time now than Ma and Pa ever would have allowed. Your smuggling ring? I always said that's the only kind of lady would ever get on my finger. Oh, Captain. Are you proposing already? Ah, uh, Rona, what... what happened to you? What are you doing here? I'm the underboss for the Black Suns on this part of Coruscant. Not bad, considering five years ago I was shoveling Ronto dung. The Black Suns? You're... a gang member? Gang leader. You think I should ride home? Make Ma and Pa proud? I could use a Black Sun contact. Captain, what are you doing? We can't just leave her here like this. Where else would I go? I got power here. I leave, I just gotta work my way up all over again. We obviously came just in time. Come on, Rona. We're getting you out of here. Poor chivalrous little Corso. Don't you get it? I don't need to be rescued. I chose this life. She chose this life. What percentage do they give you? I'll double it if you take your business to me. Oh! Captain, I'm not really comfortable making that offer. Double? Done. Just tell me where to send the profits. <sighs> well, I guess that's one way to stay in touch. Not, uh, what I would have preferred. It was good to see you again, Rona. Don't give me that look! I still gain influence from you. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, we're in a casino. We might as well speak to you, Corso. Nothing worse than coming to the realization that your parents were right. Can't stop thinking about Rona. Oh, boo -hoo. My folks always said she'd come to no good in the big city. And there she is. A stooge for some spice smugglers. Not anymore. Now she works for me. Just like you. Whoa! Yeah, just like me. It's not like I didn't see it coming. Dr. Hope. I just didn't want to think that was really who Ron had fallen in with. That's what I get for trying to see the best in folks. 
I need you up and shooting, not sitting in your bunk brooding. Oh, trust me. I've mastered the brooding shot. I don't plan to stop giving anyone the benefit of the doubt. If I trust the wrong guy, maybe I get hurt. But if I'm too scared to help someone who really needs it, who knows how many people will suffer? Well, um, level 35. So, I got my own back. Kind of, on Corso. Yeah, because he was all like, oh, well, well, um, don't, don't get, don't get a lady to do dangerous things. I'm just all like, well, screw you, Corso. Screw you to hell. But we'll leave it here for now, so next time, we are going to be heading to Knock Drain's Fortune. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.